Hey guys, um, I were doing a, a live stream on YouTube but the quality of the video were absolutely rubbish so I thought I'd just delete it and redo it again but on um, my normal phone video and then upload it that way. Um, I know it's going to take a while but I'm not going to uh, video the entire DP in. I'll show you what it all means and what not. Um, but I'm not going to do it until I've completed it because it might take me a couple of hours and um, obviously it takes a long time to upload to YouTube. Um, so, but anyway, let's get cracking. This is what you call a partial diamond painting because it's only the panda that you are diamond painting. Um, you can get full uh, kits, which means you do the background as well. So it's the whole, entire picture that you're doing instead of just the in, uh, the thing. Um, so, but obviously the partials are cheaper. Uh, the full DPs can be a bit more expensive, but be careful because the smaller they are, the less um, detail. So you need to be the set. The bigger, the better. Because the bigger they are, the better detail it is. But as from experience, uh, they do get quite rather expensive. Um, you're talking like, um, I don't know, the one that I was doing, which was uh, 60 by 35, I believe, and that cost me uh, £25 delivered. Um, I've also got another one, Molly Harrison's. Uh, I asked her direct if I could use one of her images to do a diamond painting, so it'd be the first ever that's been done. Uh, but I haven't started that one yet, because um, I think it's bigger. Um, but that one cost me... 35 and obviously the bigger you get the more dearer it gets oh pardon me um there is several sites you can get these you can get uh cheap and cheerful ones on ebay and wish uh but i do recommend uh smith's beads on facebook uh for your customs and uh for any that you know if you're wanting some like these but bigger uh, they can uh, sort suit to your needs and how much you can afford. Um, anyway, you, when the uh, DP comes, you you get all. You've got to be careful when you're looking on Wish and eBay because you need to make sure that you get um, you get these with it because otherwise you've got to purchase them separately if you haven't got them with it. So, uh, but they come with codes on. Yeah, a uh, code chart is here, and the f they've got numbers or symbols, uh, and you've just got to correspond with it basically. So, like number one is your number one, which is all these number ones. Uh, number two is your number two. Sometimes it's not as easy as that. Sometimes number one will be a square, number two will be a circle, number three will be a letter. So, uh, but you get gist. Um, so you get your rhinestones. Sometimes it's just gems. They're not as sh as shiny as these uh, rhinestones. Um, you also get a pack with this in. This is your tray, which you pour these into the tray, check them so that the rhinestone is facing up, the colour is facing up. This is your pickup pen. Uh, sometimes they come with these and you can pick uh, two, uh, three, two or three up. Um, that is the end that you pick your uh, gem up with. Uh, and you use this, this is called glue. Now, this is the one that I've already been using and it's done quite a few uh, DPs, this one. Uh, but you get the whole square. Sometimes they're a bit bigger or they're just small. Uh, you get your pen. You dip it in once and it goes into inside of that so that you can pick up the rhinestone and correspond with each uh, one. Some people, we... Uh, we um, full DPs, they they find it easier to start at bottom and go through each one that's on each row uh, and work the way up. But me, I personally find it a lot easier to just go through the code, like number one, lift so much up, do a bit that bit, 
lift that bit up, put that one down and do it that way and then, you know, just work your way around picture. I find it easier doing it that way, but you'll find your own mediums in which way you prefer to do it. Sometimes you get these, which is tweezers. Uh, sometimes the people are better off, better to pick it up from here and then place it that way. But to be honest, I find that a bit more harder than what the actual pen is. Just your pen you just pick up, place, pick up, place, pick up. And I'm quite fast doing it that way, which is that one. I just end up being there all day. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so that's your tutorial. Uh, also, I find it easier to, um, Ruben, I find it easier also um, if you tape because sometimes when your DPs come, there's creases in them. Uh, obviously, after some time when you've been placing them, it'll flatten out. But some people rather uh, flatten them out, um, you know, uh, before the start. Uh, but I've I've worked out, you know, put it on and then put some on top that's quite heavy to flatten it out and it will flatten out eventually. Um, it's not majorly important, but it's like if, uh, you know, part of pitch is, you know, scratched or anything, it's just useless. Um, this is called a canvas. It feels rough, canvassy. Um, but I, I've, I've, I've never seen not like it before, so it, I rather enjoy it. Uh, it's just like colouring, it's very therapeutic um, and once you get the hang of it you know what you're doing um, but anyway I'll give you a quick tutorial I'm, like I said I'm not going to uh, do it for too long because uh, it'll not upload fast enough but um, I'll show you what what it all entails right so I've just cut the bag um, you pour you don't have to pour too many but i pour some in now these are circle rhinestones you get circle and you get square uh some people prefer um square some people prefer circle circles are right for you know if you're beginning uh, a beginner um and you're just testing it out sometimes you'll get different colors inside so i've shook it and you can see that some are upside up, upside down but that don't matter because eventually you can just um, they'll just turn around anyway um, so yeah you open it up there's no to end I don't know if you can tell uh, if I just do all that pierce uh, and there you have it the, uh, the glue is inside and then you just Pick a side to start, so I'll start at this side because this the smaller uh, black pieces and you just pick up, place, pick up, place and that's all you have to do. Quite simple really once you get the hang of it. Sometimes they'll not be in place but you can like push them into the correct position. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're only uh, doing, you know, for your first DP. So, and you see, with um, with these being square and you, you gems a circle, they're not going to be perfect anyway, are they? And it's same with square. I've worked with square. It's not perfect with square either, but once the picture's finished, you can't really tell uh, the, the, um, the lines that make it look like you've missed some. So, don't worry too, too much about it. You just keep placing them until you get to end. Sometimes you'll pick a couple up on thing, you just knock them off. They're quite easy to come off. Um, and you can get some uh, quite pretty pictures, actually. 
All depends on what you're into and and what you can get your hands on to. Like I said, if you're on Facebook, um, I do recommend Smith's Beads. Um, they do custom ones. Once you get angry and you've got, you know, you know what you're doing. Um, also, uh, in America, um, AliExpress, um, they do it. You can get them from mobile app. UK can also buy from AliExpress. I've just ordered two, um, two more, uh, two more DPs from there. Um, I've got one arriving from a raffle that I won. So they're really good. So you've got you've got a, a wide range of uh, apps you can use to order. So you've got Wish, uh, eBay, Amazon, um, AliExpress for America. Um, but yeah, so there you have it. I've done uh, that little bit of black on the ear, and I'll just carry it on now till I've finished. It'll probably take me about two hours, but. Uh, you get gist of what you have to do. I hope you've, uh, I hope it helps you guys and it gives you a bit of interest and intrigue into doing some. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, please subscribe it somewhere down here. Very much appreciated. Thirty two subscribers, yeah, go be. Um, so yeah, um, I hope this has helped you and you've enjoyed the tutorial uh, on diamond painting. Um, I'll catch you all later.